So Solo's been on one tonight after he took out Elias. He's probably gonna return as. <laughs> oh, super! He nearly kicked Kevin's jaw off. Oh, knee from Riddle. Yeah, after he took out um, Elias, who probably will return as his equal now. <laughs> I took him out, man. That man, I know he's gone. He's gone home in an ambulance. Oh, he didn't see the tank, Riddle. This could be it. Oh, super kick to the jaw from Jay, and it's one and done. Let's go. Day one. Riddle took out. Riddle done the small super kick from Solo. I don't. I, I think him taking out Solo wasn't smart. Um, and now the match is over and the, the Usos and Sami have just left Solo to do what he wants. Playing Hump is... Ah! WWE Superstar, you manga! Oi, R.I.P. the big man 15 years, you know, like that. And Solo is paying homage to Umaga. Oh, God damn it! The Samoan Bulldozer is full effect! Fire! I used to love Umaga, man. Come on! Don't tell me he's going to do this. He's going out to get a chair. I think I know what he's going to do. He's going to put the chair on Riddle's... On Riddle's face. This is going to be painful for Riddle. It's going to be very... Oh, shit, no. He's opening the chair. Oh, okay. I thought he was just going to pull it against him. I don't know how Riddle's going to get out of this. And I don't know how it's not going to hurt. He looks to the skies. Just like Uma. Oh, I love this tribute, man. This is a beautiful thing. Look at him. Do the scream. Riddle's dead. Riddle's dead. He looks to the skies. And even though he has the the thumb cast as well. Samoan Spike, man. Come on. Listen. I got a range of subscribers from all different age groups and stuff. From like... I'm obviously 13 on YouTube, but I know the younger kids up until like 75 and 80s and that. Listen, for the younger kids, if you don't know who WWE Superstar you manga in Riddle, in a, in a regal voice, if you don't know, please go on the network, type in Umaga's name, and go and see another member of this family, bro, who was destroyed. Like, and let, let's be honest, man, when Umaga came in as well, yeah, you know I mean, WWE weren't in the, like, it was, it, it was, yeah, what I was saying, the thing, the last thing I said was, um, go and check out Umaga, man, um, I'm going to be doing a new series, actually, it's not a new series, I've actually got three or four videos on the channel from about two and a half years ago with WWE debuts, um, and I stopped, I stopped doing it at the time, because I think my Sheamus and Triple H one got copyright claimed and that, but if the, if the, if they allow me to turn off the copyright, the, the, the monetization in the first place, because that's what you always do, so it does, you know what I mean? Then we can get it going, so, but I think I've found a way to clip it up like how I do now, so I'm going to bring that back, and I'm going to run through all the legends, and all the people, and I'm going to go through all their debuts in WWE, and hopefully give a little bit of a backstory to those um, wrestlers, and then you guys can check them out, because, to be fair, it's a bit like ages done it to be keep going, oh, you guys don't know about this person, why would you know, you know what I mean? Because some people like me, there's probably wrestlers that I don't know everything about. And I know a lot about wrestling, but there's some people from back in the day that are like I didn't care to watch. And then when I did try and watch it, it just didn't it didn't connect with me because the wrestling was different. But for the age group I'm talking about, it will connect with you because I know what you guys love from the comment section already. And it isn't far away from the kind of wrestling you see. The wrestling style is still here. It's just that the time was different. 
and you probably appreciate the time a little bit more because it was a bit more expansive. They could speak a little bit more. The promos are different. You know what I mean? You don't have you don't have people like Al Snow and Val Venus and Steve Blackman around now. Do you know what I mean? So I'm gonna do that for you guys. Um, and it's gonna be a nice way to get more content on the wrestling channels because I know it's just gone to reactions, um, which if dubbed the reaction channel, and obviously watch along pay per view, which is still enough content. But I want to give you guys like, something more. So what I might do is. I may just record a few in bulk and then put them out every couple of days and I hopefully you guys appreciate that. But let me know in the comment section what you think about tonight's Raw, man. I, I, I actually enjoyed it. I enjoyed the, the female matches tonight, really. The triple threat match was really good. Rhea Ripley was tearing it up. Nice to see Alexa do something, although I don't know what's going on with Alexa because I said the other week that I've never seen a look m like more disinterested in wrestling in my life. But I can't tell if that's something to do with the character building up to Bray again or she actually doesn't look interested because and the valid reason why she probably wouldn't man they messed her character up so many times but they've kind of given this generic whatever like it's almost like a skater girl kind of oh no like rock girlfriend look you know what i mean avril lavigne that could be your girlfriend kind of look and she's kind of just hung out to dry kind of thing but she still has to do better herself she has to just remember how great she is and she is great because she's really good in the ring and i'd give alexa like a seven out of ten in the ring solid looking closer to eight and then on the mic she's dope she's got that part pattern down 100 percent nine out of ten eight point five out of ten so she's got everything and she looks great so um she just needs to find her way again and and i hope she does but i enjoyed today i loved with um austin theory tearing up again i like seeing Dolph digger involved all the time because he needs to be there uh he should never be the poker thing was a bit it was just a comedy and it so i find that kind of funny um and then yeah, Lashley and Seth tearing each other up again. I'm I'm here for it, man. Yeah, you know I mean, a lot don't make sense. A lot does make sense. But what we do know is it's WWE. Robbie, your boy, so it's coming up. Michelle, let me know what you think in the comment section. Right.